Hi friends, welcome to Art Tutorials. Today we will learn how to install Angular Material Framework into our Angular applications. I am going to install Angular Material A version 8 in our Angular 8 application. If you're joining us new, we have a lot of tutorials that we have covered earlier. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel to get free help and advice on your technical queries. Let's get started. What is Angular Material? Angular Material is set of is a framework designed and provided by Google, which provides a lot of built-in components which are ready to use in our applications. We can easily add Angular Material using ng add Angular Material command. Alternatively, if you prefer to install using npm, you can do that as well. Using Angular CLI command line to install Angular Material helps us in lot of ways it automatically updates all the required files libraries and updates the package.json file i'm going to show you that uh, so these are the list of commands that we will run if you have to do npm install so if you want to install via npm you will install angular material angular cdk and angular animations also we need to install npm install hammer.js file once you have installed, we need to import the browser animations module into our app dot module in order to make the components work. Let's get started and see it in practical. This is I have a, a set of uh, I, I have my project directory open. This is my command. So in order to install, we will just say ng add at the rate angular material. This command would install angular material in our project. So once you select that, it would give you option to choose what color predefined template you want to use. I'm going to select pink, indi uh, let's select pink or, or let's say indigo and pink. And it would ask you, do you want to set up hammer.js for gesture recognition? Select yes. Do you want to set up the browser animation? Yes. If we were not selecting this we would have to do it manually in the npm build so let's see this in action once it is done you would see the required files getting updated we'll give it a minute it will keep it will by that time it will install and friends if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so where i'll be sharing a complete angular tutorial full tutorial along with live examples all right, so we are good to go. Uh, the files are updated. The hammer JS is installed. Update has been made to module.ts file, app.module.ts file. All righty. So now if you open your app.module, you should see it has already installed browser animation module in your app.module.ts file. You should see this entry. This is required for you to work with any of the Angular components. I have already made an entry here uh, by adding a module which is mat button. So I'll show you. So in order to do that, you would require a mat button module to be imported, and then you can easily use that. Let's go to our app component. So this is the code we have that we want to add. This will add all the buttons to our application. Simple, nothing fancy here, just HTML buttons. But what's important is here that you would see the class that attributes directive that's are added which is mat raised button so this would add a raised button if you don't want a raised button probably you can just make it mat button this is also good so this way you can add the buttons to our application angular buttons so let's see it in action let's serve the application we are good to use and start using the angular components in our application this makes it easy using angular cli installation all you need to do is install the angular material framework using ng add command once it's done import the required components or modules i have imported mat module you need to import it here and make an entry in the imports once this is done go to your template file add the respective directives that you want to use or components and we should be seeing it in our application all right so there we have our buttons 
cool so i'll give you one more tr trick in this let's go to components let's say we want to add what do we want to add let's say mat card so we can see this is a simple card that we want so we go to api you import the required module and go to app.module paste it there copy the module name make an entry in the imports there you are you're good to use the mat card now and to use the mat card we can use mat title header footer content right so main selector is the mat card so if you want to see the core source code you can just go so you can see there's a mat card you can just take it as it is for your practice for now go to your template file paste it there this should work now mat card should be recognized since we have already added that into our app dot module let's see it in action we can see the card is coming up too big right so let's refactor it a little bit and i'm gonna put some quick dirty styles to show you So I've reduced the width so we can see the card much better. So you can see we have the card here, we have the buttons, footer. So this way you can add any Angular component easily into your application. This is just a beginning tutorial on how to use and how to install Angular material into our application. In the next tutorial, we'll cover in detail about designing some web applications using Angular material. Stay tuned as always. Please subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me. And also, if you have any queries, any technical help you need, feel free to drop it in the comments. I'll be happy to provide you free help and advice. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I'll see you in the other side of the episodes. Thank you so much.